Hello friends, in this series we will talk about field effect transistors or FETs. Field effect transistors, why the name is field effect transistors? Because the operation of these transistors depend on the applied electrical field. That is why they are called as field effect transistors. Now if we talk about the classification of field effect transistors, so field effect transistors can be broadly classified as JFETs or junction field effect transistors and MOSFETs or metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors. JFETs are of two types N channel JFETs and P channel JFETs. Similarly, MOSFETs are also of N channel and P channel. Once again, N channel MOSFETs can also be classified as enhancement type N channel MOSFET and depletion type N channel MOSFET. Similarly, P channel MOSFET is also classified as enhancement type and depletion type P channel MOSFET. So, this is all about the classification of field effect transistors. Now, we will talk about the difference between field effect transistors and bipolar junction transistors which we have already studied. So, the difference between FETs or field effect transistors and BJTs or bipolar junction transistors. So, let us make a table and here we will write about field effect transistors and in this column we will write about bipolar junction transistors or BJTs. Let us start. Number 1. FETs are unipolar devices. Unipolar. BJTs are bipolar devices. What is the meaning of unipolar devices? Unipolar devices means devices in which the operation of the device depends only on one type of charge carrier whether it is electron or hole and bipolar means in the operation of the device both type of charge carriers participate electrons as well as holes. Second difference is the input impedance input impedance of FETs is very high. In bipolar junction transistors, they are having low input impedance. Input impedance is a very important factor while designing amplifiers and for good amplifiers input impedance should be very high. The third difference is these devi devices are voltage controlled or field controlled. As I have told you earlier that the name is field effect transistors. They are voltage or field control devices. That means output depends on the applied electrical field. While the BJTs are current control devices. Current controlled. That means output depends on the input currents. FETs are also called as less noisy devices less noisy in comparison to bipolar junction transistors. They are bipolar junction transistors are much noisy 
in comparison to fats. One most important difference is they are smaller in size. In comparison to fats, BJTs are comparatively comparatively bigger in size. Field effect transistors show good thermal stability. Good thermal stability. Bipolar junction transistors are temperature dependent. means that their performance depends on the temperature here the performance is not depending much on the temperature so these are the main differences between field effect transistors and bipolar junction transistors in the next tutorial we'll talk about the constructional details of field effect transistors the constructional details of field effect transistors as we have discussed earlier that field effect transistors can be classified in two broad categories jfets and mosfets today we'll talk about the constructional details of jfets or junction field effect transistors so jfets or junction field effect transistors the basic construction of junction field effect transistors We will start with N channel JFET. N channel JFET. In an N channel JFET, an N type silicon bar referred to as channel has two smaller pieces. This is N channel bar. It has two smaller pieces of p type silicon rather it is p plus type silicon p plus means heavily doped two smaller pieces of p type silicon material diffused on the opposite sides of its middle portion the two pn junction forming gates are connected internally these are called as gates and they are connected internally with each other and an ohmic contact is provided to this gate terminal as well as these two terminals one is called as drain and this terminal is called as source drain or D source S and this is called as gate. The symbols schematic symbols of N channel and P channel J fits are This is train, this is source, this is gate and 
this is n channel g effect and for p channel the arrow is outwards this is p channel g effect thank you